next presentation we'll call Gamma. It's binary, it's a hemostatic device. As you understand, it's something which stopped the bleed. And why we would bring this, uh, you can see it right now, right? It's all good? Richard? Yes. Okay, all good, right? All good, right? Yeah, you're good. Okay, okay great. great. So, so we already we're spoke really about, about our team. And here's the situation we have um, in our daily lives, military, not only military, it's, uh, it happens, could happen anytime, uh, injuries. So acute bleeding and consequences. It just statistically, on the Second World War, it's up to present time, we have cause of death was 60% wounded battle on the battlefield because of bleed. And based on military time um, in the magazine, 90%, 90% of death occurred of uh, the soldiers because they couldn't reach injuries and they couldn't reach medical facility was a bleed again. And this is just a quick example, kind of uh, it's a um, um, little showed to you at, on the visionary how it happens, the blast, the injury, the bleed and the vessels. They use product, you can see it's Silux, it's current actually product used in the military. And this is the example of what they use on currently in military, medical field, emergency rooms, a Silux, quick clot, and other products, way more, and then the trauma centers and so on. And why did we come up to this um, area? Well, there these current hemostatic compositions are uh, first of all. They, how they structure is what they consist of. Hemostatic agent, the current, the one they use, it's natural polymers, which is great, uh, based on ketosan, alginic acid, kaolin, zeolite, some of them based on those uh, uh, type of products and different components. Ketosan, as you know, it's a part, it's a biopolymer of uh, actually the shellfish skeleton of the shellfish, crab, lobster. Well, not using directly the shellfish, the processing and chemically uh, producing the powder form. And uh, alginic acid, it's come from the algae. It's uh, actually uh, seaweed, seaweed. And they found out by using this um, molecules are the cause of blood stopping phenomenon. And kaolin, it's mineral, uh, comes from um, aluminum silicate. And it's part of group of industrial minerals and zeolite, it's come from lower rock, and that's the granules they use as substances based on the zeolite they use to stop the bleed. But there's a downside behind it. Even being a natural product, they have a downside which are they are not absorbable. They are loose granules. They have to be placed in the wound uh, or the in the bleeding area, and they cannot keep it there just without uh, supervision. And certain time could be two hours, three hours. No more than that at times, you have to be quick to be removed, to be um, washed out. If they don't, that's what we have. We have an exothermic effect at times, could happen right away or la later, what that means. Some of those granules could cause um, uh, the burn of the, of the wound tissue and, and damage them. They help us stop the, with the bleed and then might damage on top of it. Some ketosan-based product I mean, they are non-absorbable, most of them, and may, they may lead to necrosis, meaning tissue damage, and causing uh, decrease the blood supply to that area. A lot of just stops too too hard uh, on the on the pressure area on the wounds, and engorgement effect. That's where they put a lot of pressure, and very firm, and if you don't move, remove that. Um, substance that powder already become like a hard rock uh, consistency, it can damage surrounding tissue. It's helped person survives, but if you don't remove them on timely basis, it may bring another damage to the tissue and to the person. Trees in pharmaceutical, we spoke about it on a, in a previous um, presentation. And here we are as the company who are only company who are applying trees in pharmaceutical and healthcare industry. And we have to have a hypothesis to 
we some you have you to figure it out what's the next for the new hemostatic how's that should be look like what should be different compared with the existing are first of all it must quickly stop bleeding faster than existing because some of the bleeds coming from large vessels and every minute counts it has to firm cause a firm pressure on the bleeding site and without consecutive on the surrounding tissue not causing necrosis or over to do over pressure to the to the body and to the wound it should be used in small amount and should be able basically cover as dif different size of the wounds and I explain to you later actually small amount or right now why it's important because it's a bigger wound you would assume you have to put bigger amount to it that's what they do right now they have to to cover the entire wound but just imagine carrying all the supplies with you on the battlefield or carrying supply with the when this in the injuries happens or some emergencies it's uh, problematic so we need to have a smaller amount but that smaller amount could be able to expand and cover the wound size and new hemostatic has to be in has to be not immunologically rejected to is not to be um not to be rejected by the body as a as a foreign or being allergic reaction or or any means or or, or causing the burns and should have capability resorption meaning metabolite when you put the put that um powder or or any or granules whatever we put in that wound should get degradable biodegradable not to stay in the wound that means you don't have to yank it out that that powder um, or granules it should be body friendly and tissue friendly and after applying to the bleeds inside after the job is done no debridement needed you have to leave it alone and it works for the job it does and it doesn't need to be uh, removed so prism of trees again again we had the problems we need to solve it find the solution we utilize this prism of trees and we come up to solution contradictions all right first trees contradiction from one side a new something substance must be quickly stop the bleed and tamponade must be tight and firm enough to stop that bleed on the other, other hand rapid and firm pressure on the bleeding side may cause ischemia and narrowing of the vessels that's what they're pressing on and cause the damage to the tissue that's what pressed on so we have to avoid that tamponade must be firm same time not firm enough the second contradiction of the trees on the one hand in order to stop severe bleed from multiple injuries we would need to use a large amount of hemostatic substances or larger wounds needs bigger because of the volume of the wound is equal to the volume of the powder placed in the wound on the other hand it's difficult to carry i just mentioned before right this large amount on any place we go on regular basis or battlefield anywhere we, we uh, have to be just just in case the injury happens so it has to be a small amount and cover it, cover the wound and do the job as far as stopping the bleed and hemostatic substance should be in small amount as it says here and at the same time cover the large wound here the principle to solve problems the principle of rejection and regeneration it's it's briefly defined as when having we fulfill the purpose of becoming an um, unnecessary part an object must be discarded after we use that part right in this case it means the complete by degradation of artificial thrombus because we call this artificial because we're putting from a side it's not your own personal thrombus or its parts after the function has been performed even then fragments of an artificial thrombus will remain in the wound because we were looking for biodegradable product the principle of solve this problem it's a principle of self-organization and principle of dynamism 
in self-organization in this self-assembly active substance from inactive precursors, a gel-like implant formed from two dry components in the mixture of the present blood. The moment our product touches the blood, it creates gel-like um, composition. The terminal fragments of these components are firmly attached to the wound. It attracts to the tissue and edges of the blood vessels, it tightening them, and that's what's preventing them from re-bleeding. Why use that word re-bleeding? Because after it dissolves or, or by degradability, it might be re-bleed, but it's not. So we have to look for this component as well. In principle of dynamism, this principle states that characteristics of the characteristics of the object should be changed. Oops, changed, and um, and that to be optimal at each stage of work when it's function. In our case, that means that we different sizes of the wounds, the same dose of the drugs or same amount of the powder form should be help for different sizes of the wounds, and only the percentage absorbed of blood would change dynamically. Meaning we're using, it depends on the amount of the blood. It's like a sponge like gonna be absorbed to that same amount of powder, but different amount of the blood based on the bleed. That's what the dynamicity stands for here. Well, this is a little more here uh, where the research we done, it's more overseas. We tested acute bleeding on in vivo. It was done on animal based studies and and here we come with that product called Gamma. This is quite quick excurs of current existing biodegradable polymers. It's already existing on the market. It's a, some um, polymers which are biodegradable. It's just example of what we have on the, on the you know, existing chemicals, but not what we're going to use. Stages of research and novel hemostatics. Here we come. We want to select polymer with high adhesive properties to vascular endothelium. That's the clue here, one of the clues. So it has to be attracted right to the vessels, not to entire wound on a specific area where the bleed is. Pharmacological study, different compounds. Um, <clears throat> we designed this in vitro interaction with hemostats and bleeding vessels. And recording rate of how the polymers are swelling and what's the time necessary for to for, formate the formation, the clot formation. And we have to record the time necessary for clot dissolving afterwards without recurring recurrence of bleed. And discover the best candidate, of course, for the hemostatic is the composition, right? For the major bleeding. And we did studies on rats, rabbits, and big and pigs. It was extensive studies uh, with great outcome. Here's a hemostatic, uh, hemostatic our device, and we're looking for its existing zematic degradation mechanism. It's one is cleavage cross links, mechanism two, trans uh, transformation of side chains, and cleavage of backbones. Our product, it's more in this uh, area. <clears throat> that combination that we have working on a number the three mechanism of cleavage of backbones we also by discovering a hemostatic device uh, gamma we use pharmaceutical acceptable salts uh, you can see from there it could be the chlor chloride hydrobromides phosphates sulfates and other salts organic uh, salts and pharmaceutical acceptable bases uh, which could be form this basis could be formed with gamma given together in different uh, concentrations um and we have gamma as a powder form composition and component um with different excipients which are fda approved generic drugs it just we combine them in certain dosages and different combinations come up with the different products Gamma components are used as therapeutic drugs, yes, for something else, uh, was approved, but this is called repurposing uh, them for, for unique, to use them for unique purposes. 
mechanism of action based on mechanical wound tamponade when it's pressing pressure on the on the wound with the formation of gel-like biocompatible, meaning not causing any allergies or any um, damages to the surrounding tissue. The thrombus, unlike the natural one, is formed in less than three minutes. It's much faster than existing uh, hemostatic devices. So we came up with two products, K1, K2. Um, there was quite a discovery. Uh, this Y2 you will hear in a minute. Again, using mathematic, mathematical modeling and trees principles. We came up with composition K1, K2. They are bind, both are our hemostatic composition binary have high adhesive properties to uh, vascular endothelium, um, great attraction to the uh, bleeding site. They are both are biodegradable, they're water soluble, and they are, if they do the job and some leftover or needs to be evacuated earlier or, or they just washed out with the water or normal saline without side effects. In vivo studies, uh, just gonna <clears throat> mention to you before we go to the graphs and uh, we use a silex, we use the one used in US Army and military currently. And we use gamma K1, K2's control group. We use no therapies at all. Um, in control groups, we had six rats. Each animal had, you know, sort of procedure we had done with under anesthesia, of course. Um, did some cuts, wounds. And unfortunately, that control group has to go to die uh, within certain timing, 35 to 40 minutes. Experimental groups, which are silex and gamma K1, K2's, um, we use uh, seven animals for each groups and no animal diet in that experimental groups. And bleeding stopped overall, and it's K1, K2, similar within three minutes compared to Silux, 18 minutes. You could make your math how many times faster our product works than existing uh, hemostop products. And it's all statistical truth worth it. The bleeding time. We use a large, larger organs like the liver, heavy uh, blood supplies, uh, organs, liver, spleen. Uh, uh, and after applying gamma was, the injury was decreased and within 89, 92% compared to control group with similar injuries. Bleeding time. Um, Shortening bleeding time for experimental like spleen injury I just mentioned as well uh, was observed with gamma. Now, here we come with K1, K2. What's the difference in, we talking about wound tissue regeneration. So as we mentioned before, K1, K2, both of them are great on stopping bleeding, timing and functionality. When it comes, we noticed on experiment that when we carried out on the rats, um, we noticed that first group K1 and second K2 were applied in each group. So of course, was uh, combined with, uh, I mean, was uh, compared with Silux. And same study we did. We noticed about wound healing timing were different compared to K1 and K2. Silex wasn't much in the competition that part. Now we're talking about these two K1, K2 gamma products. The one which had been treated with gamma K2 were healed twice as fast, whereas a control sample Silex, of course, yeah, we, we said that, right? One healing efficacy. Uh, and it did not differ from the control group even with Silex. And the petalization and wound regrow with K2 group was initiated on the second day and much faster. So, and it was statistically confirmed on the K2, a gamma K2. And this is just quick, um, like calculation time uh, based on central bleeding. we done on the, on the central arterial bleeding on the skin, spleen, liver. Uh, this is this uh, study product. And you can see with the control group, the bleeding just continues exponentially until animal dies. Here is Silux, doesn't stop as much. Uh, it does stop bleeding, but not as good as 
of these two products, K1 and K2. Um, and this is sorption. Remember I mentioned to you about this uh, sponge effect, right? Small amount for bigger, for different size of room, uh, wounds or based or rather say it's not even size of the rooms matter of amount of the blood or bleeding site. So the more blood comes out, the, the, we, the our product was absorbing way better and exponential absorption. You can see here K1, K2 practically similar. So Silex was absorbing blood, not as good as our products, 10, 20, 30, <laughs> a lot of times better, way better than existing product on the absorbing on the blood and control is control, not much effect. Um, this is, we talking about wound area healing, where we mentioned about K2, if you notice here, K2 start, Day three, day nine, already healing process faster. K, K1 also does some effect. It actually doesn't prevent, doesn't cause problem from healing, but K2 was even ex, uh, exponentially increasing healing process compared to K1. It's a different composition in those two gamma products. Um, well, we complete the composition studies as you've seen. And now we have a great results data and we applying for gamma, it is medical device. It's not a medication, it's not the drugs. It's all for external use and it goes for clearance for FDA 510K clearance in progress as we speak. And this is just, um, you know, um, I combined those slides as far as gamma and silux all together as far as their bleeding time, uh, how fast gamma stops, our product stops the bleeding and how great absorption effect of our product versus Silux, of the blood absorption effect, study sorption, uh, the absorption effect. Um, advantages, um, well, definitely it's very compatible to the body tissue. It doesn't cause uh, side effects that current products do. It's no tissue necrosis observed, no systemic or local allergies or reaction were observed no burns effect on tissue or any crystallization on the wound area. It's absorbed 70 times even more uh, blood than existing products when it comes to the uh, uh, absorption time, absorption, absorption effect. It is biodegradable. No wound debridement, no interference with wound healing. Gamma based, it's actually an inexpensive material. That's important as well. It's natural semi-synthetic polymers based. The, so the, the manufacturing and sterilization, it's uh, simple. Uh, I mean, it's simple and there's no need. It's not affected by heavy sterilization. It's, it's functional uh, after sterilization. Um, and it could be used in different type of products if it comes to the market and the packaging process. And the uh, market opportunity definitely it's ongoing, still there's a growing uh, need for it. Um, and we looking for us as a startup company for investors, for collaboration, now for the grants of applications. And that schema could be used in multiple fields. And where those fields are? So it's good military, hospitals, trauma centers, acute bleeding injuries, surgical department, ambulance, first responder, police department, firefighters, and a part of the first emergency kit for general population. Have it in your car or at home. It's small samples, just it's life unpredictable. Things happen. And we have a absolutely IP behind it, intellectual property for this matter. Um, for the our, as you can see here again, creation of new medical drugs based on trees and computer mathematical modeling. That's what we had the one of the <clears throat> publications, and our nodule team, as usual, ready for the next uh, questions. Or Dr. Farber had some uh, comments to make as well, so we'd like to go for the uh, next level. Richard, any questions? 
I'm glad to answer for your questions. Could be for the previous presentation and polymixin and this one called GEMA, hemostat hemostatic device. Okay, <clears throat> small announcement. Can you hear me? Yes. <clears throat> Great. So I just had a meeting with our team and with our patent attorney, USPTO. And good news, Dr. Klein, that high probability that for previous presentation, polymixin, our patent will be issued in few months. Great. We almost won. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> take, take many years, but this is true. Thank you. Great news for, for all of us in the healthcare industry. Thank you. Sometimes patent takes years. For cancer, it took 17 years to get this project. If it succeeds, sometimes never. Yes, absolutely. High percent not, not succeeded. But... True. Great news. <clears throat> 